Welcome to Ant's Vintage, my name is Jonathan. Uh, today we have a bit of a video just about Christmas and all the shipping delays. Uh, it's the beginning of Cyber Week, so Black Friday is this coming Friday. Uh, we're already seeing delays of up to seven or eight days for shipping to London, same for Northern Ireland. And with Black Friday coming, uh, the following Monday, which is Cyber Monday, uh, is usually the busiest period uh, for Royal Mail and all parcel companies. Um, this is going to lead to huge delays for at least the next two or three weeks moving into early mid-December. Um, these delays generally carry on now right through to around about the 10th or 12th of January depending on where the weekends fall uh, because they need, they're going to then have all the Christmas delays. So now is the time to be messaging customers when they buy saying, you know, this is expecting shipping delays. Um, this is when you can expect to receive your item plate or Please be aware there are shipping delays because of the busy period um, because the entitled kids on there are going to be asking where's my stuff this goes for depop ebay all of them the estimated times on ebay um, are going to be well out because it's not going to account for the estimated delivery times what you can do on ebay though is go to your dispatch settings dispatch dispatch settings and just change it from one to two day dispatch to three to four day um, and just bump it out a little bit. That'll push those uh, estimated delivery dates back, giving you a bit more leeway on actual um, estimated delivery times. Um, on Depop, any purchase you get, just send them a message saying thanks for your purchase. Please be aware there are shipping delays um, and it could take X amount of time. I have a post at the top of my page. Um, I will link my post and basically what I've written. When somebody buys, I'll say, hey, thanks for your purchase. There is information on current shipping issues at the top of my page. Um, if you need any info, it's there for you. Um, nice and easy, copy and paste anyone that makes a purchase. Um, they can go read it at their own leisure. If they don't, it's their own fault. And you can say, well, I did tell you. Um, but that will keep you covered. But what you need to be aware of, Royal Mail won't consider a parcel lost until it's been 14 days since the day it was dispatched. So if dispatched on the 1st, you won't be able to make a claim until at least the 14th. Um, and even then, it's probably still going to arrive. They may move it back. Uh, sometimes they make it 28 days during uh, busy periods, especially with coronavirus, they might switch it back. They did move it for to 28 days, but they moved it back to 14 days earlier in the year. There is a chance they'll move it back out again, especially with like places like Northern Ireland going back into partial lockdowns uh, and things like that. Well, not partial lockdowns, but they're getting stricter on the old rules. Um, and if the UK does that as well, because um, there are talks of going back into working from home uh, you could definitely see delays uh, with post increase from there so something to be aware of um, going forward that these shipping delays are going to be happening communication is your friend right now if you communicate with the buyers you should limit the amount of ha hassles you have regardless of what platform it is um, but that's kind of where you want to be looking it, this is not the, the longest video in the world I think it's only like four minutes or so but it's important information to get out there um, we are going to see these delays um, and we're definitely going to feel it next week especially with all the sales that are going on because that's kind of what we build up for and then after that it's just going to be after Black Friday and Cyber Monday probably going to be quiet for a little week while all the sales come off you might want to keep your sale on just until Christmas to keep that money rolling in um, although there's no real need to people start getting desperate a week or so before Christmas. Um, I'll also post below um, the Royal Mail uh, final shipping days. They're not guaranteed shipping days. Um, regarding first and second class, if you use Royal Mail, uh, first class isn't that much quicker. We sent two parcels to London. One was first class and one was second class. First class took seven days. Uh, second class took eight days. It's, it's a day difference um, and you're paying a lot more money for the privilege of it still being late. Um, don't be afraid to offer special delivery special delivery is 9 to 12 quid depending on the kind of weight of the parcel but it is guaranteed and make sure you tell people that these dispatch times are not guaranteed so 1 to 2 days for a first class three to uh, 2 to 3 days for second class they do not guarantee these dates and they do not guarantee those times um, so you need to make people aware of this as usual communicate now save yourself time later um, basic stuff but it's something that I f forget I have to keep going over each year as I said I'll post my uh, thing below 
um, of what I said on Depop. I literally have a post on Depop explaining the current process during this time, um, along with international stuff. Uh, and I'll also post the Royal Mail information below so you can make your own basically. But there you go, quick five minute video on the current issues we've got coming up and what we need to do to kind of uh, handle them. Um, I've got a couple more videos coming out in the next few weeks uh, for Christmas and stuff. Uh, I've got the hand pick, uh, not the hand pick, the uh, thrifting in Switzerland. I still need to edit it, I just haven't got around to it, I've been busy. Um, we packed over 70 parcels today, so you can imagine well, I don't really have a great deal of free time at the minute uh, to be doing a lot of this. But um, there is more content coming. We'll be slowly back onto it. And in the new year, we'll be back on with like red draw schedule stuff. As this slows down, I can do more work there. All right. So until next time, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next video.